So this is the Predator Free Bay of Plenty tracking tunnel that you will receive. Um, so just some information about it. You all would have watched the information on the traps themselves. This is just about the tunnel. The first thing you're going to do is remove the nail at the back and take out the inside contents, which is either your wooden or your plastic trap and the information brochures. Now don't worry if your plastic trap is either black or beige, they're still the exact same trap. The brochure is going to give you tips and tricks on the trap and the trapping tunnel and they're specific to the type of trap that you have. But the most important part here is the log your kill section. So if you do catch anything, you do need to let us know at predatorfreebfp.nz. Don't worry about registering your trap. We'll do that as part of the process to get the trap and tunnel to you. So about the trapping tunnel itself, the front is here with a little hole for the rat to go through and the back is accessed through this panel here that flips down. This is where you're going to put the trap in. All you need to do is bait your trap, then set it and the trap is going to go at the back of the tunnel with the baited side in first. Now, I don't know if you saw the cat in the photo, but the reason behind that is that it'll help stop any cats, dogs, or other animals putting their hands in the front and setting the trap off. So if you can see, it's just in the back there with the trap side, the baited side towards the front tunnel entrance. You're then going to close it up. And you'll take your trap and tunnel and put it um, next to a spot that you already know where there's some rodents or that you suspect that there may be. Other good places are along fence lines or near where there's a food source such as a fruit tree. You'll notice I have my gardening gloves on. This is to help prevent the smell of human onto the trap, which rats are a bit suspicious of. Once you've placed your um, trap in its spot, you'll just need to check it a couple of times a week. Um, you can do that just by looking in through the front entrance. If all of your bait is gone, you may have some insects eating it. So just rebait it. Remembering to always set it off before you rebait. Thanks.